Right guys, welcome back to part three. If you've not caught up and you've not watched the first two, go and watch them and see me struggle and cry. This video is a bit shorter, just finishing off with hopefully some good news. Right, I'll pass you over to Pasty. Right then guys, it's been a few days since the last clip you saw and it's been a bit of a humbling experience. So I assume by this point, if you've been watching the video, you realize exactly what it is that I did wrong. Now, I did not stick the jig bit in the side rail of the console. So now I'm not sure if the console ever needed that in the first place. I think it was always charging and it just never had the jig put in it. I'm not sure if the other person was using the jig to the computer or one of these jigs or didn't have a jig at all. I need to reach out to them and double check. But either way, I'll show you what's going on now. It's been some good experience, obviously, changing the BQ chip and the M92 because it took me so long to do it. It was so painful. So, yeah, I'll show you what's happening now and uh, I'll tell you what's going on from here. So, if we put the jig in the bloody console and we hold the volume up and turn the screen on. Oh, look at that. We boot into Hateki. Now, it's a really old version of Hateki because... Hakati even. Because... Obviously, it's not been turned on for a long time. So if we boot into Akati, cancel this off. Now, we can boot into the EMMC. There it boots. It's going, it's taking its sweet time. I don't know how good the memory card is. And I, I don't know if like, this old version of atmosphere and stuff makes things slower. But um, there we go, we're booting up. I have put the fan stuff back in just because I wanted to make sure it was thermally, you know, cool and stuff for now. So, as you can see, we're loading. I've charged it up a little bit, so around about 40%. If anyone concerned about that, that right, that left Joy-Con rail, it all, it all seems to be working fine. And if I go to the controllers, um, you can see it's appeared there. Um, it's not charged at the moment because once the console's so empty, oh, there you go, you can see one charge for a second. When the console's empty, it doesn't like charges. So if I plug it in, you'll see them both start to charge then, just for anyone worried that I messed up that cable. When it kicks in, that's plugged in. There we go. Everything's starting to charge now. Perfect. So, you're thinking, oh, that sounds like it's fixing, it's booting up. Well, not quite. So, if I restart the system, you'll see what the issue actually is. If I get the jig in. Right, if we boot into Catty again, should be able to say the word really. And then if I try and launch stock firmware, we get dun 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 an error message that says failed to launch HOS, which is a Horizon original software. So if I try and boot back into it via the reboot method into original firmware, we get a trusty black screen. So it's dead. So what has happened is basically the emunand has corrupted. It must have been when it went completely flat. The, sorry, the sysnand has corrupted, so the actual EMMC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and rebuild it. I'm going to use uh, aesthetics videos. For this, he's got a series of uh, different stage videos you can try to rebuild your, uh, your NAND. I'm not going to film that because, again, they're his videos. So I'll link them down in the description of what I've done. And uh, I'll go and try that, and I'll meet you back here shortly. Right, I'll catch you in a second. Right then, guys, I'm back with what I'm hoping is the final part of this video now. Right, so I followed Aesthetics Guide on how to rebuild the NAND. It took so long. I'm not even joking. His guide was really good and was really well planned out. My PC just had so many weird things going on. I had to move files to a different hard drive 
else the NX manager wouldn't open up. And like, I have no idea why. Anyway, it's all done now. And more importantly, it's working. So I've got the whole thing back together. Don't worry, I did change the thermal paste. So there's a new jizzle on there. But yeah, all in all, it's all working. So here's the RCM jig. I'm not going to touch that. Let's pair it on into stock firmware. There we go, Nintendo, which we didn't see before. Oh, it's loading. And there you go, booting in. And uh, everything's working. Controllers both register. Everything charges. I don't know, I'll just turn the brightness down a little bit for you. Everything's charging, look. Controllers, the lot. Perfect. And finally, we'll just check that game card as well, just because I like to be there. So here's my uh, here's my rig switch with all my cartridge backups on it. Because I only buy digital now, so I hate the fact that I've got some old carts. So there we go. There's my MIG switch. Let's pop that in and make sure that's working. There we go. There's Monster Hunter. Let's just boot into that. Confirm the games are playing now. Come on. Yeah, that's working in it, look. There we go. Monster Hunter is my favourite game series, by the way. For anyone who's out there who's cultured and plays these games, they're fantastic. I've got I've got a copy of every one now. Just I don't even know why. I just wanted a copy. There you go. That Monster Hunter's clearly working there. So let's close that. Right, I'm now gonna boot into the Emunan to prove that that side of things is all working and we've got no issues at all. Right, so RCM jig in. The thing on the Joy-Con rail in two, so we don't forget that. And let's just boot into Hateki. There we go, it's lit up. Hakati, even, not Hateki, Hakati. Launch. Custom firmware. There you go. Just to confirm, my cartridge wants to run it again. Yep, I'll leave that on in the background. I was confused then because that screen stayed on for a long time. Anyway, it's on, it's loading. Wants to create a, create a save file. The lot. All seems to be working for me. So yeah, thank you very good. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much guys for joining me. This, this recording session has been a slog. I think I spent four hours working around the MT92 chip. As you can imagine, you saw me knock so many things over. I was at one point I was I felt like giving up. I didn't. It's been a roller coaster of an episode. We've been up, we've been down. At least we've ended on a win. And I love it. I love the fact that it's working. It's all good. I can send it back to my friend now. Nice and happy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it lets me know you like videos like this, even when I struggle. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.